You are welcome to God's Word TV. Here is an online platform dedicated to spread kingdom messages to mankind. I believe this message is out to bless you. So go get your pen and paper. Let's go learn something today. As you do so, please make sure you subscribe. God bless you. Challenge the spirit of laziness in your life. Some of you, without developing your gift, people have started commenting on it. Imagine what happens when you develop it. I, I hope you still like me. Please, listen, listen to me. Nobody goes to a mango tree without mango and just starts clapping and is happy. You look at the tree, you may stay a few minutes to get shade and move. But once it is time for mango, as it starts coming out, it starts, the, the fruit is calling you. The mango does not want followers. The mango is not looking for followers, but it is too gifted to be ignored. The mango does not go around calling for followers. It just keeps building the mango. And because hunger is something you cannot resist, you may ignore it for a while, but one day, when the sun scourges you and you stand and watch this mango, trees don't call men, they only produce fruits. And men have to swallow their pride. Have you seen the skills that people employ to climb trees? All because they are looking for. I once saw a video of um, I think they were trying to this this palm palm. I think the one they climb with as though they are climbing a ladder. I said, You mean all this skill to reach that tree? Be gifted and watch how people will inconvenience themselves with joy to come and place a demand on the grace of God upon your life. When people give excuses of time, excuses of comfort, it's because your gift is not notable enough. I assure you, ask the herbalist. A politician, respectfully speaking, will come with his whole dignity and meet a man in a tattered room and not ask whether there is AC and not ask whether the man can speak English. The man says, turn behind and move backward. And he says, yes, sir. Because he knows that my, my political career is at the mercy of that. May you be so gifted in the name of Jesus. May your gift be so refined that it will be impossible for a generation to ignore you. Believe what I share with you. There are people in this country who cannot go out of a job for one month. Believe me. Believe me. In as much as we are saying there is no job, there are companies that if some of their people cough, they will buy a pharmacy, not a drug. Make up your mind that you will be so gifted. If it's a ministry, discern the dimensions of God's grace that he has put and work it out, place your life upon it. Apostle, God has called me to be a prophet. Like who? Everything you prophesy is wrong. The world will not place a demand on that kind of grace. Let's let in the name of honesty. Are we together? Apostle, God has called me to be a kingdom financier. Let me know what you know about finances. Can you talk to kings? You are talking to your colleagues and you are happy about it. Your colleagues are not billionaires. Thank God for them. But your goal is to be able to mentor kings. That a nation will call you to hear the counsel of God upon your life. Make up your mind that you will not be small. Go back and refine your gifts. Apostle, do you know I can cook? Can the governor eat your food? Because you see, you have to serve kings to receive the rewards of kings. Am I challenging you? Let me tell you this. There is nothing that, it, that is of value that is not in sufficient demand in this life to bless you. If you are give in every industry, there are people at the top. It's those who are at the top that enjoy the blessings. Make up, shake away mediocrity. When people are clapping for you, look at those clapping for you. If they are not kings, keep moving.